Watertown. Watertown Road. Guys, we're on our way. Welcome back to the channel. It's growing cold. I'm sure I'm glad I bought these awesome hoodies. These guys probably think they're being mauled by animals when we get out. But somebody's in the ditch. Actually, said his wife was in the ditch, but I'm guessing he's with her. <laughs> See, he's going to blame it on her. Yeah. Maybe she did drive into the ditch. In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the right. On the ratio, do you think we've do you think we've winched out more men or more women? I would say more men for sure. I think you're right. Here's loop. Your destination is on the right. Loop. Oh goodness. Yeah, she's in the ditch. All I saw was the top of the vehicle as we came around the corner. <laughs> this is a this is a frequented spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's always fun too because the road's super narrow. Don't you wish you had toboggans like this? <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys do? It was me. They just came to rest. They just jumped on. I just dropped their feet. Uh, she, she was backing up and then she lost them off. Just, yeah, one of the tires come off of this. Really? Yeah. Well, it happens all the time right here. We've, we've been here. We've been here a few times for this spot. It looks like it's resting on the exhaust barely. Mm. That looks like the important part of the exhaust, though. Okay. Looks like there's some good rocks under there. Looks fun. I wonder if we just do a low pull and pull her back forward. That's kind of what I was thinking.
seat. Are we going back the other way or are we going up? No, we're going back the other way. If you can get it all squared back away, that'd be much appreciated. Okay, so just back down here to the main back road? Back here and maybe okay. back in the drive, point back in that direction. All right, let's... Uh, Come over here, Chris. Yeah, I'm going to grab all this. All right, you can get the light off the roof. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> happens all the time. Yep. Yep. She's in good shape. Just a little mud on the tires. That's it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you, man. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Try to stay warm, my friend. We'll try to stay out of ditches. That's hard to do around here. That's a tall order. See ya. Okay, guys. Uh, <laughs> hoods are. Okay, so the hoods are really cool, but you get more hair in your mouth than from my beard. <laughs> It's kind of maybe it, I need to brush it. I need to comb it. I, I need to, they came with combs, didn't they? I need to groom it. Not while I'm going down the road, though. No, no. Let's not do that. <laughs> okay, guys, got that one out of there. I don't know. I kind of run you through how my mind works. I guess might be a scary thing. Oh, it's terrifying. But anyway, we we didn't really need a, a whole lot of lift on that one. I can always look in the ditch, and if they're not horrible, and I can turn the wheel, you know, out of the ditch. And I know once I put a little pressure on it, it's going to instantly start climbing. Then it's going to be out of harm's way. But if we get some that are really steep and we got to worry about, you know, that, that edge being an issue. And I know it's not going to turn out of there without damaging things. Then I'll do more of a, of a lift pull. But that one there, low pull, turn the wheel hard. Uh, you know, it climbed out of there pretty instant. The just had just a little bit of uh, right onto pressure on the, on the bumper cover. But hey, that I'm sure that drove pretty profusely going in and it was just a little plastic air dam it wasn't anything big it didn't tear anything up it just scraped it yeah. while it was coming out the pipe was just kind of resting but like i said i knew it was going to come out of there so that was the easiest thing on that one plus we we're uphill limited space so that was just uh yeah that was my mind Turn right onto 2a dudley creek road easiest thing so anyway um got that one as we were doing that one another call come in somebody's did something similar to that so we're heading back out dudley creek and see if we can make it over to this fellow in a timely manner it is sunday and it is going on eight o'clock temperatures drop pretty good today i would assume it's going to continue to do so until we get this five degree weather that i'm not looking forward to Ugh. got a ton of stuff that i need to do around the shop and the house to get things ready but it's busy season everybody's coming into town to to celebrate Christmas and we've either got early Christmas celebrations going or we'll have late Christmas celebrations going and this will continue out through the new year so stick around stay tuned we've got plenty of good stuff coming your way including this next winch out okay guys as promised we are just a few seconds away from our next recovery looks like a driveway deal deer footway Let's see if we can make this little corner here figure out what in the world is going on somewhere guys because you can see right is not an option I think we have to go down this next little road Probably. he sent a picture so when he called he said it was a Honda Odyssey and he, the picture he sent was a little silver sedan so I don't know what he, re he refers to it as a Honda Odyssey maybe oh goodness there's this looks like a disaster yeah it says Deerfoot way this way no twin axle trucks. Well, it's a 
good thing we're not twin axe. Yes. We would fall off into oblivion. <laughs> Never to be heard from again. This is going to require me going back to the main road and backing up all. Yeah, you're going to have to hit reverse the whole way. Oh, there's a good road. Yeah, the, okay, we're the safe. numbers go down. I think it's this. It should be right here. I see headlines. Oh, goodness. Well, there's the Honda Odyssey. Hello. We're, uh, we're back back this way. Back over on the other side. Okay. Yeah. We want me to back up, you pull forward, and then you'll follow me, or yeah, um, it's easier for you? Uh, I, just, I just need to get turned around, I guess. Let me, uh... Back in there, and then I, follow me that way? Yeah, I'll just back up. Yeah, we're like, flip it that way. Okay. Oh, that looks like a decent driveway to back into. It was bad. I'll see better. <laughs> Definitely seen worse. You should probably go forward and backwards. Hey, that might be an idea. Well, uh... I guess I'm a little confused. There's the Honda Odyssey he was talking about, driving it, following him. Uh -huh. Well, I asked him what type of vehicle we were looking for, and he said a Honda Odyssey. So. Maybe this was his following vehicle. Yeah, he wasn't maybe. on near foot way at all. We were just supposed to meet him <laughs> and follow the Honda Odyssey to the destination. So we really don't have any idea where we're going. We could be 20 minutes away from it. Maybe. How did he know that we were gonna be coming this way, though? Oh, goodness. There's like, this road looks like an octopus. There's like five roads that split off right there. Maybe a squid or something. Squidward. It is straight down over here on the side. And I would show the camera, but you wouldn't be able to see it. Just take my word for it. It's straight down over there. Oh, there it is. geared back up it's only 29 degrees outside 29 it's cold oh it's a little bottomed out huh you know it's my mom man i don't know where she was going <laughs> she was oh, making her driveway she's stuck when she says she's stuck she means it okay well i mean at least she stopped she stopped before it got really bad <laughs> yeah, she yeah, she'd, she'd have been in big trouble going down that way. Pull it back? Yeah, I'm just going to pull it backwards. I have to get some stuff rigged up. I'll probably use this tree over here so we can get a straight pull on it. Nice. Not enough room for me and the car back there, I don't think. rummaging around in the woods. William, I did the uh, bear dance. <laughs> <laughs> Spook the ball.
we're good, dear. Show that we're soft shackled. I'm not sure whose tree this is, but we are soft shackled. Show this tree as we take it off. There we go. Good to go. No damage. We've got a neighbor that's complaining, so I want to make sure. That's crazy. I, there wasn't no damage, right? Uh, it's like a little, I mean, a little dip in there. I mean, it's, yeah. Yeah, I don't really see anything. Just a little bit of, a little bit of grass. Yeah. Five dollars for the grass seed, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, we got the sheriff here because the lady's a little upset about property damage. So, anyway, what are you doing, dear? I'm still winding up his wind. You need some help? No, I've got it. Sorry, he has to deal.
Anyway, guys, um, the property owner's a little upset. She's she's wanting to uh, to get damages, and there's really no damages to get. I mean, it's maybe some grass seed, but she's just a little upset because you know all the tourists are really beating up her property. So, anyway, is it on? Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> Jesus, we're live. We're live. Live five. Didn't even know it. You guys were invading my privacy. <laughs> Welcome back. I don't know what, uh, how much of that we caught or if I did a very good job explaining the situation, but I'm going to try to go through it once again, just in case. Don't want to leave anybody scratching their head going, oh, what What was that video about? But we pulled up on scene for that last recovery. The customer called us, sent pictures, all of the, the things that they need to do. And uh, we got out and I guess I, guess I kind of take for granted that the majority of these are, are rental cabins and there's not really going to be anybody to talk to and we try our best to uh, you know document damages and things like that but most of our stuff you know there's not physically anything damaged like nobody's house or fence or any of their expensive things would, would be damaged but if they are like I said we, we really document everything and we're just not used to people jumping out and, and uh, screaming but that lady uh, owned that property there and she did she jumped out she said you can stop you stop I've, I've called the police and I want them here before you pull this vehicle out. And uh, so that's what we did. You know, we stopped. We we were not on her property. We were actually on the neighbor's. We were on the neighbor's property set up, and I had uh, I had the cable stretched, and uh, we had a snatch block going to a tree that was behind it, so I could I could pull the whole thing out. There wasn't enough room back there for me and and uh, and her to be pulled out. So. But I did, I had a soft shackle around the tree and I try to, you know, I'm, I'm being nice. I'm not doing, I'm not tearing up anything, but we did, we stopped. The officer got there and he said, well, no, to pull it out. <laughs> We're not stopping, pull it out. <laughs> and uh, so we got it pulled out of there and then she's still screaming. And I understand, I do, because, you know, we get vacationers that come up our road where we live and uh, that we've had them run over poles and, uh -huh. and, uh, light globes and well heads and oh, I, I've so, yeah. I've had if you name it I've had it cars customers cars things mm -hmm. like that up there so I, I get it I do but there was there was nothing I mean there was like you guys probably will see the video I think I, I walked over there and, and panned around but there was like a little basketball size spot where the tires scrubbed around and uh, and took off some grass so it wasn't but she was still screaming at the officer I want this I want this documentation because uh, there's damage here and, and you know the officer he's he did he did good I think he's gonna write her a report and he's got the card and, and all that stuff but he's gonna go through a whole mess of stuff for uh, a patch of grass and it seems like she's just a little irritated uh, I know the video probably didn't catch it but she was screaming about this you know the same thing this happens all the time tourists are up here and they're always running over my stuff so it wasn't this one per se it was it's just a bottled up effect she's she's had 50 people make her mad and this one person uh, has uh, unleashed the bottle so anyway we got her out of there and uh, she's on her way no no damage to the vehicle and um she's uh she's on her way to have some fun for for her vacation so anyway that is my explanation on that and um we are back waiting on uh, another call so stick around stay tuned probably got more coming your way